the first sum is root of 3x square plus 2 in miscellaneous by 1 by root of 2x square plus 4. This can be treated as uh, capital X root of capital X. So, 1 by 2 root capital X which itself is 1 by 2 into root of considering this inside 1 as capital X correct. 1 by 2 into root of 3x plus 2 and the differentiation of 3x plus 2 is into 3 plus what about differentiation of 1 by 2 into okay 1 by 2x square plus 4. I will do it as u by v, v into du minus u into dv by v square. So, uh, denominator update the differentiation of 1 is just 0 minus uh, u differentiation 1 by 2 into root of 2x square plus 4 and inside differentiation is 4x plus 0. So, 4x by 2 uh, v square which is 2x square plus 4. This term will go away the 4, 2 and the 4 will get cancelled. So, you have 2x by 2x square plus 4 hold to the power 3 by 2 with a minus sign. Can you see a minus sign is there? And root of 2x square plus 4 multiplied with 2x square plus 4 will be 2x square plus 4 hold to the power 3 by 2. So, thus this will be my answer for this. So, you have to combine these two answers and write. So, 3 by 2 into root of 3x plus 2 minus 2x by 2x square plus 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 will be the answer for this. So, you understood this I am taking it as root x with the inside of it is what is x correct. So, inside differentiation macro level differentiation will give you this and the micro level differentiation will give me into 3x uh, 3x plus 2 is micro level differentiation 3x plus 2 on differentiation will become 3 plus 0 ok. I hope you understood this I am doing it as u by v. Um, uh, you, can, you can ask me auntie why do not you do it as 1 by just uh, auntie why do not you do 1 by root of 2 x square plus 4 consider this whole thing as capital X. So, differentiation of 1 by capital X is minus 1 by capital X square. So, why do not you do that way? So, if I do that way it will be 1 by uh, capital X square is 2 x square plus 4. Then I have to again differentiate root of 2 x square plus 4 correct and then differentiate 2 x square plus 4. There are so many parts. So, it will be 1 by 2 into root of 2 x square plus 4 into 4 x and I will still get the same answer. So, if this is getting very confusing for you just do it as u by v which is very simple ok. So, next to sum. The second sum is e to the power secant square x plus 3 cos inverse of x e to the power anything is e to the power same thing. So, you can consider this as capital X. So, e to the power secant square x is e to the power secant square x and differentiation of this inside secant square x it will be 2 secant x and then differentiation of secant x will be secant x tan x. So, the question therefore gets uh, segregated as e to the power secant square x differentiation then differentiation of secant square x then differentiation of secant x so, there is so many component correct. So, thus you get an answer to be 2 secant square x tan x into e to the power secant square x e to the power e to the power secant square x. So, this is the answer for the first part plus 3 is a constant take it out cos inverse of x differentiation is minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square right. So, it will be minus root of 1 minus x square. So, this will be the answer the minus being brought out correct. So, let us go to next sum. Uh, third sum is the world's most important sum log of log x to the base 7. Okay, you cannot differentiate when the base is 7 and all it has log x has to have the base as e. If it does not have the base e log x when the base e are another differentiation will be 1 by x. If the log x has got base 7 this is like capital X can you imagine it is log x to the base 7. You cannot differentiate like that. So, you have to multiply with I have taught you during logarithmic property log 7 to the base e by log 7 to the base e. You are multiplying dividing by log 7 to the base e. You have multiplied and divided. So, do not cancel it. It will be so stupid you will get the question back again. A consolidation of log x to the base 7 into log 7 to the base e will be log x to the base e by log 7 to the base e. You understood? So, now the question has become log log capital X which is log of log x to the base e by log 7 to the base e. The question changes like this. Now, 
you can differentiate this. 1, one by log 7 to the base e itself is a constant. So, 1 by log 7 to the base e constant can be taken out. So, on differentiation of log of log x to the base e, this is like capital X which is 1 by x which will become 1 by log x, correct? 1 by log x and then differentiation of this log x is 1 by x. You, al you already have 1 by log 7 to the base e. You understand the log of log x is like log of capital X which itself is 1 by log x which is 1 by capital X. Then differentiation log x is 1 by x. So, you have to add it with this, multiply with this and then you get the final answer to be this. So, very very important sum. Next up, from here onwards the sums are all very important. Okay. Next up, for, uh, 45th sum, 45th question, first subdivision. Cos inverse of sin x. So, this cos inverse of cos 90 minus x and either all sin x at complementary angle 10 standard portion. So, cos inverse cos get cancelled. So, you have written the question as 90 minus x. You have not even differentiation, you know, differentiated. On differentiation pi by 2, 0 because the constant. On differentiation x is 1, so minus 1 will be your answer. Next to sum. 40, uh, second subdivision, 45th sum. Oh my god, this is such an important sum. All these sums for that matter, all the example sums, sin x by 1 plus cos x. I told you, wherever you see 1 plus cos x, 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2, 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2. Okay, these are all the basics that I taught in trigonometry. Remember, inverse trigonometry, 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2. So, when you write tan inverse of 1 plus cos x as 2 cos square x by 2, obviously the sin x has to be written as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. The 2 and 2 get cancelled, the cos and the power get cancelled. So, tan inverse of tan x by 2, so answer becomes x by 2. I have not even differentiated, I have just solved the inverse trigonometry part. So, on differentiation of x by 2, 1 by 2 is common, differentiation of x is 1. So, the differentiation of x is always 1 because dx by dx is 1, so answer is 1 by 2. Okay, next to sum. Is the third sum in the same subdivision sin inverse of in the same uh, third subdivision in the same sum sin inverse of 2 to the power x plus 1 by 1 plus 4 to the power x. See again some important uh, sin inverse of 2 into 2 to the power x in lama numerator 2 to the power x plus 1 exponential 2 to the power x into 2 to the power 1. So, 2 into 2 to the power x in the lama. And 1 plus 4 to the power x, so you can write as 1 plus 2 to the power x the whole square, which is all this 2 to the 4 and x, 4 to the power x. So, 1 by 1 plus 2 to the power x the whole square, you are writing it like this. Now, this seems like sin inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta madhrik, where 2 to the power x has to be substituted as tan theta, theta will become tan inverse of 2 to the power x. Cut and put to We are only solving inverse trigonometry. So, sin inverse of this is sin 2 theta. So, you get 2 into theta. We are just still solving only inverse trigonometry, which is 2 into tan inverse of 2 to the power x. I am substituting from here. So, now you have only solved inverse trigonometry. You have to differentiate. So, always inverse trigonometry and differentiation, both of them will be a combined question. So, tan inverse of capital X is 1 by 1 plus x square, but in the case of capital X, it is 2 to the power x, right? So, uh, therefore, it will be 2 into 1 by 1 plus 2 to the power x the whole square. And now, differentiation of 2 to the power x is 2 to the power x log 2 to the base e. I have told you, a to the power x, a number to the power x is number to the power x log 2 to the base e or number to the base e. The number here is 2. So, 2 to the power x, so uh, general order, that is inside differentiation will be 2 to the power x log 2 to the base e. So, this and this can be consolidated. So, it will become 2 to the power x plus 1 log 2 to the base e by 1 plus 4 to the power x. So, this will be the answer for the sum. So, the solving of the inverse trigonometry part and then only doing differentiation. You cannot directly jump into differentiation. You cannot just write, uh, uh, you know, cos inverse of sin x as a minus 1 by root of 1 minus sin square x because cos inverse differentiation is minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square then sin x differentiation will be cos x. Do not go for it. Always try to solve inverse trigonometry say cos inverse of cos never no, tan inverse of tan never no, at the kappar na you can differentiate ok. Sin inverse of sin 2 theta can you see I hope you understood till here ok. The next question is 46th sum. 
y is equal to sin x the whole to the power sin x. You are going to apply log on both sides. Log y is equal to log of sin x. I have told you x to the power x format you have to apply log on both sides. Sin x the whole to the power sin x. This is like log x to the power n which is n log x you can bring it in. So bring it for quantity like the Monday like another sin x into log of sin x is equal to log y. Now on differentiating both sides 1 by y into dy by dx is equal to this is u and this is v. Modal like the abdi u into dv which is log sin x is 1 by sin x into cos x plus log of sin x red other like the abdi the modal like differentiate into cos x. So then dy by dx therefore is y into because this y goes to this side. So sin x they hold to the power sin x is the y from the question. You have the sin x and sin x get cancelled cos x plus cos x into log of sin x na edikla. Just the multiplication la just bring it forward so that it appears nice that is all. So which means is cos x common? Yes. So you can also take cos x common. So sin x the whole to the power sin x into cos x into 1 plus log of sin x will be the answer for this question. Is it right? Let me check. Correct. Okay. So next question is the 47th sum. Uh, if y is equal to a to the power t plus 1 by t, ellam is sum important. Please solve it. Oru sum miscellaneous examples aram chidlinte. Everything is very important. I would uh, actually uh, after finishing miscellaneous, I I would like us all to get so hands on with the question and answer. Adhikarano. Class, unfortunately, I am not conducting classes live. So, let's see how to go about it. Okay? T plus 1 by T, the whole to the power A. T plus 1 by T, the whole to the power A. So, it is A to the power X format. T is a variable. T plus 1 by T, it is a variable. A is a constant. A to the power X is A to the power X log A to the base E. So, it is A to the power T plus 1 by T log a to the base e. But t plus 1 by t a you have to further differentiate because like capital X a to the power x is log a to the power x log a. t x capital x na assume t plus 1 by t that you have to differentiate you will get t a differentiate panna 1 plus 1 by t differentiate panna 1 minus 1 by t square. So this will be the answer for dy by dt because this is parametric form. So let us see how to differentiate this. This is like x to the power a or x to the power n a is a constant any number this is like x variable. So x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. So as usual padina podo. Okay. Uh, so then how to do it? dx by dt is a into t plus 1 by t the whole to the power a minus 1 and you have the ulla work the different inside differentiation is 1 minus 1 by t square again. So we are done with it. Now you have to divide. Uh, the first equation, the second equation you want dy by dt by dx by dt which is dy by dx. So you have to divide first equation by second equation in this case a to the power t plus 1 by t log a to the base e into 1 minus 1 by t square by a into t plus 1 by t the whole to the power a minus 1 into 1 minus 1 by t square. Can you see this and this is getting cancelled? Uh, what else uh, can you do? You can uh, if, uh, you can keep the a to the power t plus t, uh, t plus one by t into log a by a into yeah. This is the answer. That's all. Can you see textbook also? That is the answer. Log a to the base e lamp podlam by a into t plus one by t to the power a minus one. It's very simple. So you should think uh, this is a to the power a is a number number to the power x number to the power variable. This is variable to the power number.